Hi there, I'm Jan Rossler. Today, I'd like to introduce the Sunny Boy 1.5 and 2.5 and show you how to configure its settings using the web-based user interface, WebUI. We are already connected to the Sunny Boy 2.5. It's very easy to connect via wireless LAN or via wired Ethernet. You can dial into the Sunny Boy 2.5 directly from your smartphone or tablet, or simply log in from your PC. When you connect, you'll see this home screen. Select your user group, typically installer. Now enter your password and you're ready to go. For the initial installation, you'll see the following three options. One, you can perform the configuration via a data file. I would do that if you plan to install several inverters of the same type. Then it makes sense because you can just store the same installation settings here, select the file, and import it. But we're not going to do this now. Instead, we simply go here to cancel. Manual configuration is really only necessary in special cases, so we're not going to go through that now either. Instead, we're going to configure the device using the installation assistant. Just one click and we're all set. Here we can see which home network our Sunny Boy 2.5 is connected to. In this case, because it's wired, it's the Ethernet. Of course, you could also just do this via wireless LAN, but in that case, wireless LAN would have to be activated here. As I said in our example today, we are simply connected to the device via cable, that is, via Ethernet, and we can see the whole thing here. So click Save and Continue, and let's move on. For date and time, I would just leave it set to automatic time synchronization. But that only works, see the little note there, if the Sunny Boy 2.5 is connected to the Internet. If that's not the case, you can uncheck Automatic Time Synchronization and just enter the information manually. We go to Enter. Now that's done. And click on Save and Continue. You have to select the installation country standard the first time you configure the device. Pay attention here. It makes a big difference which country you perform the installation in. You have to select this at this point. Save and continue. And now you see here, under Configure Energy Meter, which energy meter the Sunny Boy 2.5 is already connected to. Typically, the SMA energy meter. If so, it's displayed here with the serial number. If that's the case, and of course you're already connected, then you can click on Save and Continue. You don't actually have to do a whole lot with feed-in management. You don't have to change a lot of settings here, because they've already been selected with the country standard. You do still have the option to, for example, turn the feed-in management level down to a certain point and enter that value here. But as I said, it's not necessary at this point. That means, you know this, save and continue. You can ignore the warning message that appears here. It just says that the soft access point that is generated by the Sunny Boy 2.5, like its own wireless LAN, that from here on out you can no longer access using the standard password. Instead, starting now, you have to use the device-specific password located on the type label on the side of the Sunny Boy 2.5. You can see this home screen or dashboard, as we'll call it, every time you connect to your Sunny Boy 2.5. Here you can see at a glance all the important data from your inverter whether it's running properly, for example, and exactly how much power it is generating at the time. Under Instantaneous Values, as the name indicates, you can see instantaneous values and go into a little more detail. Under Device Parameters, you have the option of adjusting the device parameters directly. Under Events, you can see everything that has happened with your inverter recently, any warning messages or even just information. You can also export these as a CSV file from here. Under System Configuration, you can see all the connected inverters as well as the energy meter for this network. Here under Settings, you again have the option of exporting the configuration file directly. And that's all there is to it. I've enjoyed giving you a little more information about our new Sunny Boy 2.5 and showing you how easy it is to configure your system using our program. Thank you.